The three most important things that I like in a PhD supervisor are the willingness for them to give me their time, the fact that they have time to spend with you, and by that I mean quality time. The willingness to listen is probably the second most important thing. And the third thing is that they get back to you with timely feedback. I think probably there's maybe three important things. One is being available, so I do try to make myself available as soon as possible if students want to see me. Um, maybe the second one, and I think this might be even more important, is to be excited about their research and get in and feel like you're really involved in it. I think quite a lot of supervisors maybe have students that are doing projects that are not of real interest to them and so that student doesn't feel sort of part of the part of the deal. Uh, and the other final one I think is give, be prepared to give good feedback which is um, constructive feedback but also it's fairly timely feedback, so I do try to do that. Sometimes it's just not possible, but I... It's someone who is enthusiastic about their research and, and research generally, um, truly enthusiastic, also very supportive and makes um, student, postgraduate student supervision a priority in their workload because we all have lots of competing tasks. So really it has to be one of your priorities. Um, so that you can be there when you're needed and be and provide the support. So it's about supportiveness. I think he's an excellent supervisor because of the interaction that he made with students and um, uh, as a person, you know, he's uh, very kind and generous. I think uh, that uh, makes a lot of uh, uh, students attracted to him. We, we always go and talk to the supervisor because he's the only uh, the first person that we can talk uh, in, in terms of our academic issues or whether it is related to something uh, uh, not directly related to academic issues but they, they have a great impact on the performance of the PhD. So I, I always uh, act uh, as a mentor uh, and uh, academic supervisor as well as a friend. So my personal and emotional support, I think, uh, I, I believe that uh, helped from a lot of my students. Melanie is almost renowned for being a very good supervisor, which is a lot of different factors that go into that. She's a very good um, career mentor. She's very encouraging of her PhD candidates. Um, and also just the one of the bigger things that sets her apart from other supervisors, I think, is how much she encourages your career as an early career researcher. So providing you with opportunities throughout your PhD candidature that better prepare you for an academic career. And, and in terms of research and opportunities, she really promotes her, her students and her candidates to, to excel at things and give things a go and participate within an academic um, um, culture rather than um, treating them as a student. The fact that she was easily approachable would be a major thing. Um, it's no good having a supervisor that you don't feel comfortable going to with your problems and she's, she's always been very easy to approach. She's always talks to you in a casual setting and you know a casual conversation with her could lead to revelations about your project. Also accessibility I think is a big thing so she's pretty much always there if you need to talk to her. Even if she's not necessarily at the uni, even if she's away, she's always available on email or if she really isn't going to be available, she's going to set other people up that you can talk to in the meantime. And the third thing I'd probably say would be dedication. You're not going to get a student to go very far unless you're dedicated to their project and to them basically evolving in their academic career. You know, you, you want to be invested in their future. And Jane is definitely that.